Hey everyone, welcome to ATP Health and Wellness All the Potential. My name is Matthew Ferrer, I'm a first year naturopathic student. I'm Austin Blanchard, I'm a current chiropractic intern, and we're going to show you a typical lung exam that you might get at your doctor's. So, first, what we're going to do is general questions of the general breathing. So I'm going to ask you to take a couple of breaths in and out. As I'm going to observe his pulse with my fingers, I'm going to check his respiratory rate. General guesstimate of around how many breaths per minute, typically around 12 to 14 is what you're going to get by your doctor. So I'm just looking at the rib movement as well. There's the lateral excursion of the ribs. Can you move your arms? And then bring them back. So with my hands, I want them to push the ribs out. I feel it move. I'm going to come on the top of your ribs, making sure that it comes all the way up to the top. Making sure to observe there's not excess neck for the scalenes or platysma are not activated and for him, they're A-OK. -okay. So then I'm able to move on to the auscultation portion. I'm going to first show you the two anterior sides and then we'll go to the back side. Whenever this touches your skin, just take a breath on in. I'm by the second rib. That sounded good. I did not hear any wheezing, anything like that. Would you be able to flip on over, sir? Multiple points on the back side. I might go up towards the upper spine, mid spine, and then mid to lower spine, around six points. And then we're going to go onto the right side for about the mid side of the rib for the right lobe of the lung, because the lung has three lobes in the right and then two in the left. I'm going to ask you to flex on down. I'm going to move the scapula out of the way. Scapula, lower rhomboid major muscle. I can feel the ribs. That's the triangle of auscultation. Deep breath in. It's the best spot to hear the part of the lungs. And then can you remove your uh, right side to move it over a little bit and then display the breast tissue away. I'm going to move the lat a little bit out of the way and just right about there. Breath in. Okay. All sounded normal. Your doctor may move on to typically what is the tactile firmitus. I'm going to have him speak, his vocal cords are going to move, I'm going to feel the vibration, hopefully getting a sense of is there any fluid in the actual area of the lungs. So whenever my hands go on you, just repeat 99. 99, 99, 99, 99. Cool. I felt them pretty evenly throughout the vibration and did, did you have any pain with that? Nope. Cool. That's normal. And also one thing just to keep in mind is when you first start a lung exam, it's always important just to look at the patient and see if there's anything that seems off. Are they gasping? Are they wheezing? Are they hunched over? Because right then and there, they can tell a little bit about what the patient may be experiencing. And also it's important too that if you do find anything that seems off during the lung exam, it's always important to go to further imaging and testing just to make sure your diagnosis is correct. Anyways, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. Be more than happy to answer them. Make sure to subscribe. Remember, you have all the potential.